Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil and in this project video we will learn that how we can delete our product with the API. So uh, why we need it? So obviously we are just making a e-commerce project here and maybe our product is outdated. This is not available in market. There is any kind of reason, right? That's why we just want to remove our product from this list. So how we can do it? For that we need an API. API we already created in the last video if you want to watch that link is given in the description box and in this video we will integrate this API with react.js so what we need for that first of all we need a button for delete operation then we'll add some style on this button after that uh, we will call a function on this button and we'll pass a id in this function and uh, at the last we will uh, call our delete API and pass this id to this delete API and our uh, product will be deleted and we will test this flow uh, many times after adding more products and remove products and all right so now let's start uh, okay so as you know first of all we always need to test our uh, API that this is working or not right so I'm just going to add a product let's say my product name is uh, X product and I'm adding some random images to it and let's say price is uh, uh, 10,000 bug X product is a description and let's click on the add so this is added and we can just see that inside our uh, product list with the ID number 12 so I just want to delete it so I'm just going to remove that one and opening a new tab for so that I can just show you from a scratch we need to select a delete method from here and now select our API URL so we need a 8000 URL API and delete this is our path and after that we need to pass here our ID of product which is 22 here so let me just put here 22 and click on it now you can see that product has been deleted and you can test it let's say just go on another page and come back here and now you can see that we again have only three products product with the ID 22 has been deleted so that's great that means API is working fine so if you just try to delete it again then you will find that it will just give you an operation failed because we cannot delete a product which is already deleted that's great okay so now let me add uh, some more products so that we can delete them um, let's say my product name is mi mobile and uh, let me add some image it can be dynamic and uh, let's say 8000 bugs and mi product or something we can put some description right working great let me add one more let's say Reebok jeans Let me add one more image for that and this is again a random image some uh, 2000 bugs and uh, a jeans or something we can add anything because we are just making a dummy product so uh, this is working great we got the both products here so now let's add a code for delete our API right delete our product for that let's go inside a uh, src folder and we are uh, just written this code inside the product list so let me add uh, one more column here which is uh, operations because uh, after some time we will add uh, update operation also so that I just make this column name operations and uh, just let me take one more column again and I can just simply take a span here and let me add here a delete text working fine but not looking great because we need to show it like a button so that I am just going to write here some small CSS here so let me add here a background color let's say red color let's say FFF or white padding 
uh, let's say three pixel border radius five pixel and you can add some more padding if you want and uh, color you can change if you are just thinking that this is a bright red color right like this light and uh, we can just add here a cursor also also cursor pointer and now we have a hand on this icon so it will be great we can just copy this css from here to in uh, app.css let me just create a delete class and add this uh, css here and let's add a class name delete and let's check the color of all button this is working great right so let me call a function on this um let me just write a on click even you can use here a button also but i just want to show you that in react you don't need to button only for click event you can add the click event on any html element so let me call this uh, delete operation operation function and let me pass here id and this id is actually coming as an item dot id right and uh, let me define this function function this and we are getting id as an element as an parameter and uh, let me add here a delete uh, alert method and uh, let's just just alert this id and let's see the id is perfect or not the id should be 13 on click of item this is working great id should be 7 on this curly great id 5 great all right so what i just want to do here i want to call a api now so just write here a fetch and after that your uh, api url like this and id we can pass it like a id like this and after that we can take a parameter which is a method and method can be a uh, delete right and uh, we can handle it with the promise or you can use here async await right so i like to use here async let me take a result variable await for it and it will return again a promise so what i can do here i can just simply uh, take here a result dot json and we can add await again inside it right like this all right so now what we can do we can check that what is coming inside our result console dot warn right and uh, we can print it And after that, what we uh, let's see that product is deleted or not. And after that, I will show you that how we can just remove currently with from here also. So let me just delete the product number 23. And let's check that is API working fine or not. So let me click on it. Here you can see that our delete request is sent. And we got that product has been deleted. But still, this is present here it will just delete it from our dom element after refresh but this should not be a great approach right we should delete this product whenever our on a button click also so that what we can do here for that you can just call this stuff again right but it will make your code duplicate so what i'm just going to do i am going to make a function here function get data or get list whatever you want to put put this result here make it async now we don't need this async function here and just call it from here as well as here right now let's see what we are getting so let me just click on uh, product number 24 and here you can see that this is deleted from the dom also because whenever our result is just fetched 
after that the get data api is called again and it will re-render our old dom right so this is uh, we don't need to refresh our page for show the deleted product right for remove the product if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video bye bye take care